Hi guys, today I have a very, very fun video, at least in my opinion, because today we're gonna to be trying out a new palette from Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics. If this is a new brand to you, you might somewhat remember that I talked about this brand in my ranking my best palettes of 2021, where I included their pickle palette. So they reached out to me and they asked if they could send me their newest Christmas palette as well. And I was like, of course, of course you can send me your new palette because I'm so excited. So they came up with the Frosty Flamingo palette, which I think is so cool and so just different for being a holiday palette, like a flamingo palette. <laughs> Like how cool is that? I don't know. I really like it. So it comes in this beautiful little sleeve. This palette is going to launch on December 11th at 3 p.m. PST. I will have all of the information down below in my description box. I think it was going to retail for like $31, something around that. So we're gonna just be testing this palette out and you're probably gonna be a little bit surprised when you see the inside of this because it's not your common like holiday color story or winter color story. I feel like it's quite unexpected, but I think it is beautiful. This is such a cute purple monochromatic palette. And it has some pinks in there as well. And the shimmers in this look absolutely beautiful. I swatched this palette and some of these just kind of blew me away because they are so stunning and they're so reflective and just, they look amazing. So I'm excited to test this out on the eyes. So that's basically what we're gonna go ahead and do. I also got a package sent from Ofra. They are coming out with basically five new highlighters for the holidays. So these are all launching in December. Uh, they have the shade Gumdrop, Gingerbread. These are all like holiday ones. Uh, sugar Cookie, Peppermint, as well as Pumpkin Pie. I'm going to try one of them on today, but I don't want to swatch all of them because I want to be able to give these away. Like the last thing I need is five new different highlighters in this size because these are huge. And since I have so many highlighters, I just know that I'm not going to get enough use out of these. And I think that a lot of people are going to really enjoy these a little bit more than I will. Not that I don't like Ofra's uh, highlighter formula. I think it's really, really nice, but I just know for myself that not all of these colors are going to suit me. So we're gonna try the shade. Let's see, I think the one that I found out was probably going to look the best on me was the one called Sugar Cookie. So I wanna try that and just see, see how it looks on me basically. Because for me with Ofra's highlighters, I need them to be not like the most white base because I'm not someone who likes a frosty highlighter. I like something that's more like the same depth as my skin tone, if that makes sense. So I think this is the one that's going to look the best on me. So like I said, this is the one in the shade Sugar Cookie and it doesn't smell like Sugar Cookie at all, which is slightly sad because if that smelled like Sugar Cookie, this might be my favorite new highlighter. So I'm gonna take a small, let's see, what do I actually wanna use something a little bit larger because I know that these highlighters are super intense and I don't want it to be like really metallic. So I'm gonna use more of a fluffy brush, which I like to use with Ofra's highlighters. And I'm just gonna apply it and see, yeah, that is, that's beautiful. That's a really, really nice color on me. I don't feel like that is too light, but it's extremely intense and just looks really nice. Oh, I love that. That's honestly beautiful. This might be my new favorite highlighter from Ofra. And I have a lot of them. Oh, I really like this. So I will link everything down below, obviously, if you wanna check out any of these products, but I'm really excited to play with this palette. Like this palette looks so good. Let me just take my blush brush again and go over a little bit here just to mesh these together. If you're wondering my, what my blush is, it's of course one from Wunsai because cannot stop using them. I've used them like this basically this whole year. This is in the shade Ripe Papaya. It's one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and try this palette. So I'm going to, of course, start by priming with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. And if it sounds like I'm talking a little bit strangely, it's because I have one of those damn canker sores like in my mouth and it hurts so bad. I always sleep on my right side and I woke up this morning after having slept on my right side and I felt like my whole, my whole right side of my face is just swollen because like that freaking canker sore is just kicking my ass. Oh, I freaking hate those. This is just nothing worse. Like there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to wait until it gets better and like try not to do anything that aggravates it. Like try not to eat on that side. Try not to bite yourself. I don't know. It's, it's just so annoying. It's driving me insane. Also, if you want to know what's on my lips, it's another one of the new Alien Cosmetics Satin Lipsticks. I have been loving that formula. I've worn them in the past like four days and tried out different colors and they are so comfortable. And for being a satin lipstick, they last such a long time. Like they are, they wear so well. Like I'm so impressed by these. Like these are great. If you're looking for something that is a liquid lipstick, but not super drying, they do transfer a little bit. But like I said, they last for, for a very long time for being a satin. These are beautiful. And I really like this color. Like 
it was a little bit hard to get like a super smooth application. It was a little bit streaky in the beginning, but built up, it looks really, really nice. So this was in the shade Angela. I would highly recommend you guys check out these lipsticks because like I said, they are beautiful. So I think what I want to do today is I want to do, I think these two in my crease and then play with some of the shimmers on my lid. Probably. Maybe I'll even use all of these mattes on my eyes. Maybe I'll do these two sort of in my crease and then do these two underneath my eye. This is more of a satin, but it's not like super shiny and I can definitely use it like underneath my eye as a bit of a deepening shade. So I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to start with the darkest tone here because these, the, these mattes didn't swatch the absolute best. So I don't have the highest expectations that these would build amazingly. So I'm just going to play it safe just in case. So I'm going to start with a shade here called Shrimp slushy if i'm all over the place and there's a ton of jump cuts in this video i'm so sorry i cannot speak today i don't know what's going on <gasps> i blame my canker sore i swear uh so i'm gonna put this in the outer corner of my eye if you're looking at this thinking hmm that palette is kind of similar to the flight club palette by menagerie you're not wrong and i will show you some sort of side by sides after because that was my first thought as well i was like these are kind of similar color story wise and I don't think that if you have the Menagerie palette that you necessarily need this one, but I think I'm gonna like the shimmers a little bit more in this palette just because, you know, I've swatched them and they are the kind of formula that I just absolutely love right now. So yeah, I don't know. It just depends on what it is that you like in your, your shadows because the formulas are definitely different. Like I would say that I definitely prefer Menagerie's mattes but I think I like Sugar Drizzle's shimmers a little bit more. So I'm gonna wing this out a little bit here. I do want this to be quite an intense look. And we're actually going to get our booster shots after this, which I am very excited about because since we are traveling for the holidays, it's gonna be nice to just have a little bit of extra protection at least, even though who knows if it's really that helpful against the new variant, but honestly at this point, I'm just over caring. Like I just, I just can't with COVID anymore. Like I've done my job. I've done what I can. If I get sick now, I just don't care because <laughs> I've had enough of not living life and not doing what it is that I wanted to do. So I'm going to go into the shade here called Feather Butt <laughs> or Feather Butt. And I'm going to put that in my crease and sort of use that to blend out this shade with, put that in the front portion here and just see, I want to see like how different these two are and they're definitely quite different yeah this is way more i feel like these are both showing up lighter on the eyes than they are in the pan like in the pan they definitely look a little bit darker but on the eyes they soften up a little bit so i'm gonna try to build them up and see just how intense i am able to get these they do seem to build on themselves quite nicely though which is always a good thing but i still feel like they're not showing up as intense as they are in the pan so if you're looking at this palette and you look at the mattes and they scare you a little bit don't be scared because these aren't these aren't those kind of mattes that you put on your eyes and you go oh crap <laughs> like now what do i do like these are definitely more on the sheer to buildable side but not in a bad way just more in a these are easy to work with if you're someone who don't want to go in super heavy right away I'm gonna take my time here and sort of blend around the edges and then I'm also gonna run it over the outer corner shade as well as wing this out a bit as well and just make sure that I have a good blend all the way around I'm gonna go back in with the first shade that I used on the outer corner and just re-intensify this color a bit I do wish that this was a little little bit darker but it's still a really really pretty purple and it does seem to build quite nicely on top of that second shade that I used as well and don't worry I know this isn't looking perfect yet but it will come together next I'm gonna take a smudging brush and I'm gonna go into the shade called Mr. Beaks which is this color down here this is the more satiny purple like a dark satin purple and I'm gonna use that under my eye and just sort of smudge this all along, mostly just because I wanna try out this color and just try as many shades in this as I possibly can. 
So this is definitely doing what it is that I wanted to do. Uh, but like I've said in the past, I'm not personally really a fan of satin shades. So to me, I kind of wish that this was just a regular matte, but I can definitely use this as a matte shade if I wanted to because it's not very shiny at all. And I do think that satins usually tend to stick underneath your eye a lot better than mattes do, so I am not mad at it. I actually think that looks really nice. It's a very pretty color, and I don't mind if there, if there, if there's gonna be, how many times can I say if there, if there's gonna be a satin in the palette, I prefer to be the darkest shade in the palette because that is how I sort of like to use satins. I don't really like when they're very light because I'm like, what do, what do I do with that? <gasps> And then I think I want to use, let's see, I'm going to use the shade here called Stilts uh, just to blend out this color with. So this is the lightest matte in the palette. I'm just going to take that on a wrapper 13. Wait, yep, yeah, wrapper 13 because that is that is my brush of choice 99% of the time, <laughs> especially when using matte. So I'm just going to use that to just blend a little extra underneath my eye. It doesn't seem to be super, super pigmented, which I'm not really surprised by because I am... Not really putting it on top of an eyeshadow primer at all, so it's not sticking the absolute best, and it's also the color that probably swatched the worst. So I would say this color is definitely better used on top of a tacky eyeshadow primer or just to blend something out with, but it's definitely looking really nice. Like, it's doing what I want it to do. I really like this color combo. I, I really like the mattes that uh, they put together in this palette. I think they all go very nicely together while still while still being kind of versatile. Like I feel like you can do, for being a monochromatic palette, I feel like you can do quite a lot of different looks with this just because the tones are quite different. And I think this looks very nice. Do I need to do any more blending? Let's do a little bit more blending anyway, just to make sure that everything is looking nice here. But this is blending out so nicely and these colors, like I said, are just doing such a good job together. So I think we're gonna go in with the shimmers. I think it's time for the shimmers already. Man, this this did not take a very long time at all. So I'm starting as always by putting on some of my NYX glitter primer all over my lid where it is that I want my shimmers to go. I'm not being precise with this at all. I'm just kind of slapping it on to get a tacky base for the shimmers because I just find that, especially this kind of formula, it just really makes it pop. So the question is, what do I want to use? Because these are all stunning. So I'm thinking I want to use two. I really want to use this shade though, but I just, oh man. My desire to use this all over my lid is so strong that I don't think I can help myself. Originally I was like, let me use like three of these, but honestly, the shade just looks so pretty and I know I'm gonna love it, so I just want to use it. This is the shade called Pinkaberry and this is definitely a duochrome. Like it's, it's blue to bright pink with a little bit of like brown in it. It's such a unique shade. And I'm just excited to put this all over my lid. It's, ex it's everything that I wanted it to be. Literally everything that I wanted this shade to be. That is so pretty. Like this palette is worth it for this shade alone. Oh God, I love this shade. This is like, this is like one of the shades in the It's Belle Cosmetics palette, exactly the same formula, but just a different color. And that shade I've probably almost hit pan on because I've used it so many times. Oh, I love that. That's so stunning. I just, I cannot. I'm gonna reach for this shade so often. This is gonna go so well with like other colors too. Like this would look beautiful with a, a blue crease. Like, oh, look how just wet looking my lid looks. I love it, I love it. I, this was such a good choice. Like I knew, I knew I had to use this color because I just, I just knew that it would put me in a good mood. And see how beautifully that layers and creates such a beautiful gradient when put over that purple in the outer corner because it is a little bit of a sheer eyeshadow it just looks so nice do i want to use this one this is a shade called strawberry snow this is definitely more of a, a sheer satiny ish type formula as well it looks really nice though i feel like having something that's a little bit more subtle but still shiny under my eye wouldn't take away from like my beautiful lid shade so i'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade right here on a small pencil brush 
And I am going to spray this a little bit here, just don't want to have any fallout and I want to make sure that this sticks very nicely. I'm just going to do a little bit of that in the front portion of my lower lash line. Because I feel like since I have more of a cool tone purple under my eye, and this being a cool tone purple, it's going to go very nicely together. I cannot stop staring at that lid shade. It looks so, so good. Uh, I'm just wrapping a little bit more of that lid shade around in my inner corner because I just want to bathe in this shade. It is so beautiful and I just, I cannot get enough. So I think this is all I'm going to do with my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off. I'm not sure anymore if I want to do some sort of a graphic liner because this is looking so good right now that I kind of don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly finish off with my eyes and I will come back and I will show you the final look. Okay, so the look is done and I love it. <laughs> is that any surprise? I mean, I cannot, I cannot stop looking at this. I'm speechless. It's so beautiful. That shimmer has just made my day. <laughs> if you don't know what I finished off with, I used a little bit of purple in my water lane. This is from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Delirious. And then I just did some liner and mascara. And that was basically it. And I also forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that I actually have a code with Sugar Drizzle Cosmetics now. I think it's just Annette. It will be on the screen. It will save you 10%. It is affiliated, just so you know. So yeah. That was a very successful first impression, I would say, and I feel like I will be reaching for this palette as a companion palette quite a lot because I don't really use, I don't really use monochromatic palettes on their own very much except for just like when making a video and doing a first impression because I find them to be a little bit repetitive sometimes, but I did want to show you the comparison between the Flight Club palette and the Flamingo palette. Like I said, they are quite similar, so if you already have the Flight Club palette from menagerie you probably don't need the one from sugar drizzle but if you just want to get the shimmer <laughs> maybe you need this palette anyway but you can see side by side that there's definitely like some similar tones but they're also different at the same time like i don't think any of the shades necessarily dupe each other like spot on but you can get similar looks with this and i don't think you need both probably but they are both beautiful palettes and this is probably in stock and i don't think this is so if you just want a purple monochromatic palette, not a bad choice. And I also just think that that is so fun that this is like their holiday palette because it's it's just different, you know? And I appreciate that. I appreciate that from every other brand coming out with very, not generic Christmas color stories, but this isn't what you would think of when you think of Christmas. And I think that's why, that's why I kind of made it a fun, cool release because it's just, it's not what everyone else is coming out with right now. So that's going to be my thoughts and that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much Sugar Drizzle for sending me this palette. Thank you so much to you guys for watching. If you want to see some more first impression videos, of course I have a ton. I'll put my playlist up on the screen. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.